Hey guys, I got a new video for you today, and this is going to be a video on something that I just picked up today. Now, if you guys follow the tactical channel, especially channels like Never Enough Ammo, you know that yesterday was National Buy a Gun Day. Well, unfortunately, I was stuck at work all day, so I wasn't able to pick a gun up yesterday. But luckily, I have a shop in my area that's actually open seven days a week, so I went by today, uh, Sunday. Uh, July 10th and um, they were actually open and they they had a model of gun that I had actually been looking for so I went ahead and looked around and they have some really good prices there so I went ahead and uh, and picked something up so let me show you what I got and as you guys can see from the box I picked up a new car now this is actually my first um, car arms I've heard a lot of really good things about them I know there's a lot of guys that swear by them crazy 45 cat carries one on a daily basis and there's a lot of guys that really love them. And I was actually in contact via PM with Edge Weapon 88, Keelan. And I was asking him some questions because he does have one of these. And, you know, unfortunately, he's had a couple of issues with them. I know it's got to, it had to go back to car a couple times. But, you know, he said, barring all the issues that he had, that he really likes it. And he does have the uh, 9mm version of this as well. And, you know, he loves that one. So I figured, I, I figured I'd give it a shot. I got a really good price on this one. I don't normally like to discuss um, all the pricing and stuff like that because obviously that's pretty relevant depending on where you buy it and stuff like that. But if you guys know how much these are, um, I actually picked this up for less than $300 and it's brand new. Uh, I was actually able to, you know, to do a little um, price reduction and things like that. So it was actually a really, really good deal. So that's pretty much one of the only reasons why I picked it up today. Um, besides the fact that it's a great gun and, and you know, I love the way it fit and fit in my hand. So let me go ahead and and take it out as you guys can see it comes with the gun and the gun is empty uh, it comes with two magazines all right these are uh, six uh, six round magazines so obviously the gun is six plus one and then it comes with a little trigger lock here and right at the top over here you have all your information in there now this isn't going to be a, a, an actual review on the gun itself just because um, I just kind of wanted to show it off you know so as you guys can see there um, it says car p380 let me see this will focus so you guys can see it. Wow, well, there you go. On the opposite side, right there on the slide, you can see this says 380. There you go. All right, great, great fit. Um, I was actually looking at something to replace my Ruger LCP, just because I love the uh, the size of the LCP. But the problem is um, when you actually start shooting it, it's so light it tends to to want to jump out of your hands. What I found is, um, you know, this a uh, little bit added weight, added weight of the uh, of the car actually makes it a little a lot more comfortable. But obviously, you know, um, only time will tell when I take it to the range. But as you guys can see, here it is um, in my hand. Let me go ahead and put the magazine in so you guys can see what it looks like. Um, so, you know, obviously without the, uh, the the pinky extension there. But the great thing is that it's got these. Um, you know this uh, texturing right here in the front and in the back and that actually helps it lock really nice into into my hand so even though um i don't you know my pinky's kind of floating there um you know i don't feel like it's going to jump up anywhere um you know and it's going to be a, a good thing now uh if you guys saw i had this uh you know the remora holster here this is actually uh one of the ones that i picked up at the gun show and this is uh series uh 2pwb and as you guys can see it fits all these so right here you've got the uh, car uh, 380 so this might be some you know the one that I'm actually going to be carrying the gun in this is actually the one that has the uh, the slot for the extra magazine in it so see how the gun fits in there all right there you go fits really nice and then if you do want to carry that extra magazine it's got the pocket right here so there you go so the magazine slides right in there out of the way so you have you know 12 rounds uh, plus one in the chamber uh, whenever you need it and it's a very thin comfortable form factor and that's pretty much what I really liked about this gun is just how you know how thin and comfortable it felt um, you know it's 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 got some really nice sights which is um, the opposite this you know from the uh, LCP where um, it just had like little bumps on the actual slide this actually has real um, sights but uh, obviously taking it to the range will tell um, how good those are so uh, I wanted to show you guys that you know I'm pretty happy with it I'll, I'm going to see if I go ahead and uh, and take it through the break-in period and uh, see how it does. And then maybe I'll start uh, transitioning into my ADC. Now, um, I'm not going to replace my um, SIG P238. Uh, I still love that gun. And, uh, you know, this is just going to be an alternate carry. 
you know if uh you know if I'm wearing shorts or something like that even though they're they're both kind of similar to each other but you know it's always good to have uh you know a, a backup to your backup so let me know if you guys have any questions and uh you know maybe I'll do a uh, side by side comparison um shot of this one with the uh, P238 and see how that goes all right guys thanks